Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another word scripture from the Lord. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for this scripture. Lord, help me to tell it as you have spoken it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So this evening I was, um, this is a little different. I was um, getting ready for bed and I could hear the spirit of the Lord say to get down. And I got down on my knees and I thought he wanted me to just pet my dog for some reason. And so I was petting my dog and talking to her. She's getting old. And so I was like talking to her and petting her. And he let me, he didn't correct me just then. He just let me pet my dog. And then when I got done, he told me to get down um, to take a knee. And so I took a knee and now, and I got all the way down and, um, he told me Ezekiel chapter three, verse nine. And so, um, I felt like his hand was near me or on me. And so I got up and, um, I went to look it up and this is what the word said, like Emory, harder than Flint have I made your forehead. Fear them not, nor be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. All right. And so I feel like he's speaking this to me as well as to all of us who are listening to tell people, you know, what we've heard and what we've seen and what he wants us to tell them. And so this is what he told me um, after that, I went, I was getting ready to go back to bed and he told me Ezekiel chapter eight, verse three. And so I read verse three and then he told me to keep reading all the way through nine. And so he told me to come and tell that. And so I'm just going to read what he spoke to read. Ezekiel chapter eight, verse three. He put out the form of a hand and took me by a lock of my head and the spirit lifted me up between earth and heaven and brought me in visions of God to Jerusalem, to the entrance of the gateway of the inner court that faces north, where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provokes to jealousy. And behold, the glory of God, of the God of Israel was there, like the vision that I saw in the valley. And then he said to me, son of man, lift up your eyes now toward the north. So I lifted up my eyes toward the north and behold, north of the altar gate in the entrance was this image of jealousy. And he said to me, son of man, do you see what they are doing? The great abominations that the house of Israel are committing here to drive me far from my sanctuary. But you will still see still greater abominations. And he brought me to the entrance of the court. And when I looked, behold, there was a hole in the wall. Then he said to me, son of man, dig in the wall. So I dug in the wall and behold, there was an entrance. And he said to me, go in and see the vile abominations that, are, that they are committing there. So I went in and saw and there engraved on the wall all around was every form of creeping things and loathsome beasts and all the idols of the whole house of Israel. And before them stood 70 men of the elders of the house of Israel with Jezina, the son of Shaphat, standing among them. Each had his censer in his hand and the smoke of the cloud of incense went up. And then he said to me, son of man, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel are doing in the dark, each of them in his room of pictures. For they say, the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. He said also to me, 
you will see you will see still greater abominations that they commit. Then he brought me to the entrance of the north gate of the house of the Lord, and behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Then he said to me, Have you seen this, O son of man? You will see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the house of the Lord, and behold, at the entrance of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about 25 men with their backs to the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the east, worshiping the sun toward the east. Then he said to me, have you seen this, O son of man? Is it too light a thing for the house of Judah to commit the abominations that they commit here, that they should fill the land with violence and provoke me still further to anger? Behold, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore, I will act in wrath. My eye will not spare, nor will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, I will not hear them. Ezekiel chapter 9. Then they cried in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Bring near the executioners of the city each with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the direction of the upper gate, with which faces north, each with his weapon for slaughter in his hand. And with them was a man clothed in linen with a writing case at his waist. And they went in and stood beside the bronze altar. Now the glory of God, now the glory of the God of Israel had gone up from the cherubim on which he rest on which it rested to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed in linen who had the writing case at his waist. The Lord said to him, pass through the city through Jerusalem and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and groan over all the abominations that are committed in it. And to the others, he said in my hearing, pass through the city after him and strike. Your eye shall not spare and you shall not show and you shall show no pity. Kill old men outright, young men and maidens, little children and women, but touch no one on whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the elders who were before the house. Then he said to them, defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go out. So they went out and struck the city. And while they were striking and I, and I was left alone, I fell upon my face and cried, Ah, Lord God, will you destroy all the remnant of Israel in the outpouring of your wrath on Jerusalem? Then he said to me, The guilt of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. The land is full of blood and the city full of injustice. For they say, The Lord has forsaken the land. And the Lord does not see. As for me, my eye will not spare, nor will I have pity. I will bring their deeds upon their heads. And behold, the man clothed in linen with a writing case at his waist brought back word saying, I have done as you commanded me. All right, you guys, this is the word of the Lord. Be blessed and take care.